Today we're looking at some Twilight Imperium 4th edition. We're just going to run through a round, maybe, because anything more than that might be too insane and I don't know if I'm that crazy, but I've got a bit of a starter game that's about to, that's uh, been set up and I uh, just want to go through as much of a full round as possible. Once the full round gets worked out, everything else after that becomes a little simpler. You just have to remember your uh, special rules. But apart from that, hopefully we'll be able to get this moving. All right. So set up for a five player game, and this is the format for a five player game. We have our races already sorted out. Nor, Nev, Xan, Chan, Khan, and Joy. Just used the races in the quick start startup play and just randomly picked the races, then randomly assigned where they went, and then just laid the tiles as per a five player game. Mictol Rex in the middle. Let's have a look at some of the races. Sadak Noor, in their position where they started, got a few extra trade goods, all the bits and pieces. So what I've done is this is the initial setup with the tokens, counters, secret mission, planets assigned, uh, technology, starting technology gathered and all laid out on the board, ready to go. As well as randomly working out speaker, which Sarak. Setting out that with the two public objectives. All of the baggies full of kit. And already gone through and picked out the order for the turns and the cards remaining. This is why I chose a five player starter then you have cards remaining. You have cards remaining on a three, five, and a six. On a four player game, you use up all the, the cards. There's nothing left behind. And they're chosen specialties. Okay. So starting at number one, I just left them face down so that way I could easily identify what order everyone's in. So starting at number one, Barony of Letnev. Place a token to activate system and move. It's the carrier. And then we go to number two. So the two captured planets get brought in exhausted. And a planet that has no troops has a token to signify the owner. 
So the second to act. Take a token. And reactivate a system. And it comes in uh, exhausted. So now we move who would be number three, but the three was left out. So we're on to number four, which was also left. And now we move to the Khan for number five. So the way a turn works, you can have different, you can do an action and you can't finish your round until you've done your strategy action. These are used to activate a system for production of items, production of uh, ships, uh, for moving into a system. And this one is the number of ships you can have in a single space. And these are the secondary, these are so-called uh, strategic tokens which are used for the secondary abilities on these. So we'll have five primary abilities that each individual player can use and then everyone has access to the secondary ability which usually requires the spending of a token. Usually. So, tactical action. So it's number six, Federation of Soul. And do a tactical action. Just gotta move across the board. As you can see, you need a lot of space. Well, the more space you have, the healthier it looks. Sardak Noor, come in at seven. Again. Carry is taking some folks. So the first wave round, that's what's happened here. Everyone's moved. So now we go back to the person who had the number one initiative and see what they're doing next. So the Latnev are up next. Strategy. Activating the home system to build carrier. And two guys. Tactic, activating the home world, and producing an aircraft carrier. 
So in order to produce that carrier, spend or tap the planets. Uh, Kana up next, and as uh, space lions do, played the trade, so they immediately gain three trade goods, replenish commodities, and they've said everyone can uh, use this secondary ability without spending a token, so everyone gets to replenish their commodities. The trick on this is that the commodities, which are the grey ones, get turned into trade goods by trade. The hassle, you need to be adjacent to someone to be able to trade with them. Unless of course, you're these guys. They've got a special rule. First of all, they never have to resolve the secondary ability and they can negotiate transactions who are not the neighbors from here can say yep I want to trade who needs some goods and away they go so after trading traded with Lednev Sadak Noor and the humans So the humans take one here. Zoom. So I decided to play this research one technology and not having enough resources for a second one, but got um, chose plasma scoring as the technology. And everyone else gets an option of spending a token from the strategy pool and spend four resources to research one technology. So we'll have a look. And for Sawin tools, I'll do it. The board, the second phase. We're back here. Gain three command tokens. Spend any amount of influence to gain one command token for every three. So they gain three command tokens. And everyone else, spend any amount of influence to gain one command token for every three influence spent. So at this stage everyone's got their planets either tapped or they're not able to achieve that secondary. So that's the end of that. Now we move on to um, number two. So the next one is they're going to choose to do their strategy. Each other player places a command token in a chosen system. And then they get to ready the exhausted cards of the planets in that system. Then everyone else gets to spend one token to ready up to two exhausted planets.
So the area chosen will be this one. And those two planets become ready again. So we're readying these planets. But there's also a special secondary ability. Once you've done the piece of, once you've done that, piece of cords say that you may gain control of one planet other than Mechdol Rex that's adjacent to a planet you control. So that'll be this one. The only two races that took up the strategy option to ready planets, Sol, Sardagnor. Barony of Letnev, activates. One tactical action. Carrier. Three fighters. And a foot soldier. Some serious expansion. Time for the Hakan. Tactical. In here, in this system. And they're going to produce a Dreadnought and some infantry, which brings it to five. They're just using the trade goods. However, I forgot this. When one or more units reduce the combined cost of the produced units by one. So I'm just going to add a couple more soldiers. So this is what they end up producing. The Dreadnought and four infantry. For a total of six, Sawin tools, minus is a one. So they just spend the five. Taking the one. Put it in here. Producing. Advanced carrier. Using that. Sardak Noor. Back to the barony. Activate this one. And the dreadnought can carry one. And it takes Centauri. The 
next. And they pass. They're done. Hakan. And they also pass. They're done. So these guys, Sol, spend their warfare. They take one command token off the game board. And then they have the ability to redistribute the command tokens. For everyone else, they can spend one command token to use the production ability. Sorry, one strategy token. The human's taking it off Sol. Putting it back here. And they're taking off the fleet. Putting it there. So I'd ignore. Activating the home system in order to produce. Using their trade goods. Dreadnought, cruiser, and a destroyer. Back to the barony, where they pass. The Shah have passed. The Khan have passed. So we're back. The Federation of Seoul. So activate. troops and a couple more fighters. Sardic Nor the Sardic Nor Pass. And back to the humans who pass. So in the objective phase, we've got three that uh, three civilizations that have scored objectives. Letnev have four of the same four planets, the same trait. Hakan and Noor both spent enough trade goods, leaving Sol and the Khshra back on zero. The next step is to reveal the next objective. Then everyone draws action cards. The humans at this stage draw an extra card and we'll just see what they've got. So the next step is to bring back all the strategy tokens back into the resource pools. So once all that's been done, gain and redistribute tokens. So everyone gets two tokens back, but the humans for being versatile gain three.
All the strategy cards go back in the middle where whoever was the speaker gets to make the first pick. And that is one round. So looking at what we have across the board, expansion, Consolidation, build up, playing it safe. And, well, they're just out there. This is a full round of Twilight Imperium. As you can see, there are also other elements to the game. You've got secret objectives, which none of them achieved, which would also draw victory points. And hopefully I did, um, did it well for everyone, you know, so you can understand how it all works out. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, etc, etc. Okay. And that's it for today's Twilight Imperium.